Habeas corpus is a federal procedure for asking a federal judge to review whether custody is lawful. Habeas reaches some things that you just wouldn't expect. Habeas was the primary means by which uh, uh, federal judges freed slaves from custody in recalcitrant states after um, the close of the Civil War. It's the way people that are subject to immigration proceedings challenge uh, their uh, removal or exclusion or deportation, depending on you know, what term uh, you use. There's uh, habeas that's used to address types of civil detention that are pretty exotic, quarantines. What's happened in the last 10 years, particularly with uh, the cases that came out of the post 9-11 um, national security apparatus uh, was this need to unite that subject matter with the habeas subject matter that came before it. We're really reaching a point where we have to answer the question, um, is habeas corpus something with unifying themes that should be taught as a standalone subject, or is it really just part um, of these different subjects, each of which corresponds to a different form of custody? And this was um, our way of making the argument that this isn't uh, a topic that should necessarily be divvied up amongst different courses, that it actually warrants um, its own course, it has its own unifying themes, um, and there's something really meaningful to say about habeas, um, even as it operates across different types of custody.